this is uh, Thursday, July 23rd. <clears throat> We're up uh, in the little town of Auburn. It's okay. <laughs> And uh, we're attending one of their Thursday night cruise ins. They have these each month. And uh, they just get a, a, a super turnout, especially when the weather is so nice like it is tonight. So uh, they're having trouble finding parking spaces for everyone right now. So uh, anyway, we're going to be up here this evening. And I'll get some good pictures of cars. Having a little cooling problem with the Redbird Special. I don't know what's what's up, but uh, kind of frustrating a little bit. But anyway, hopefully we'll make it through the night all right. Okay, we'll check with you later. Bye. I want to get a little footage on this 71 Corvette here. This is a car that's uh, in uh, the museum that I am uh, uh, associated with here in Auburn. This is a 71 Corvette Stingray. This was owned by a gentleman by the name of Gordon Burig. Now Gordon Burig uh, was a car designer, well known. Uh, he designed uh, the 810 Cord. And I know he was, uh, he designed uh, some cars for Ford, but <clears throat> he also invented uh, the uh, T top. And that's what is on this Corvette, I believe. This was the first one, uh, this Corvette was the first one that he uh, put the uh, T tops on. So, uh, this is this is a car that's uh, uh, very well known and and uh, uh, has some uh, history behind it. So I'm going to uh, get a little footage on it here, and we'll uh, uh, get that on for you to enjoy. So 1971 uh, Corvette, and this has been donated by the family to uh, to the museum. So. Well, I wanted to get some footage on this car. This is a 1958 Packard Hawk. And there were only 588 of these made. Uh, and this uh, lady, Judy Butler, owns it. Her husband, who's since passed away, um, had some cars. And uh, this was one of them that he got. And just uh, never was interested in doing anything with it so it sat in a barn for 30 years and last year uh, her and her son got it out got it uh, roadworthy and I remember seeing this she brought it to a car show local car show last year and I haven't seen her since so uh, so I came across her this evening so I wanted to talk to her and get some footage on it and uh, they haven't done anything more to it but uh, this is a very rare very rare car uh, they I guess they only made them like I said they produced 588 of them and they didn't sell so they discontinued that's Judy there <laughs> they uh, discontinued the the car I want to try and get a shot here can of what it looked like when they took it out of the barn. Uh, she says the tires were had sunk into the ground, and uh, it was it was really a basket case, as you can imagine. So, uh, very rare car, very interesting. All right, we'll move.
Well, we're about to wrap it up here in Auburn for the evening. Cars are starting to leave. They had 283 cars here tonight. So, uh, nice big crowd. And uh, citizens, or the residents, always turn out uh, uh, very well for this type of thing. So, uh, it's, a, it's a great place for a cruise in. We'll be back up here again for uh, some monthly cruise ends and a big one, a real big one on Labor Day, over the Labor Day weekend. So we'll be back. Have a good one. We'll see you.